wait, this came from Walmart? Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we are going to look at head to toe outfits from Walmart. There are a couple of pieces that I'm especially excited to share with you. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. The first piece that I want to talk about, I did pick up in store, which reminds me, I will link all of the pieces that I can find on the Walmart website in the description box below. This is by the brand Time and True. They're calling this the Henley sweater. It is $16.98. It is rated five stars on the Walmart website, but right now it doesn't have a whole lot of ratings. So I kind of take that with a grain of salt. This comes in sizes extra small through XXXL, and it is available in four colors. Each one is prettier than the last. I was torn between this kind of soft baby pink. They also have a beautiful kind of periwinkle lavender that I was tempted by. I might go back and get that when I'm still trying to decide. The fabric is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. The care is super easy, machine wash cold inside out and tumble dry. This features a relaxed fit, pullover styling, a crew neckline, button placket. The buttons are working, although I think I would just leave them just the way they are. This does have balloon sleeves, and then it has ribbed knit trim at the neckline, the cuff, and the bottom. This does not feel like it has acrylic in it to me. I know that I keep mentioning this, but I really have an aversion to acrylic. So when I'm in a store and I pick up a piece, I feel it to see if I can feel the acrylic. This has a really nice feel to it. It reminds me of the floral sweater and the love sweater that I showed you in a previous video. And in fact, let me grab that. This sweater reminds me very much of the sweater that I had on in my last video. Both have a really good quality. There is so much that I like about this sweater and I only have one caveat about it, which I'll get into in just a moment. I think the shade of pink is just lovely. I find that this color of pink is universally flattering on most women. I like the Henley style. It gives it a little bit of visual interest. And then it has these horizontal white stripes. And then it has this stitching detail at the shoulders on the front and the back. I did find the weight of this to be perfect for spring. It's not a heavy sweater, but it is not paper thin. And I didn't feel like it showed every lump and bump. I especially like a sweater like this with a pair of white jeans, or maybe even with a pair of distressed jeans and white sneakers. I like this one a lot. The only thing I have negative to say about it is that I found it to be a little bit short. Now that's coming from someone who is five foot four and is short waisted. The length was fine on me, but I did want to point this out in case you are substantially taller than I am. This next piece is also by the brand Time and True. I showed this in a previous video in a beige combo, and I kept saying I felt like it looked like a grandpa sweater. And so many of you left the comment, hey, we like that grandpa sweater. Maybe you could style it differently. So I decided to take your advice and that's what I did. It's rated 3.6 stars on the Walmart website. There are a lot of reviews, so it kind of came in in the middle of the pack. It comes in sizes extra small through XXXL and it is available in four colors. The fabric is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. It is easy care a machine wash and tumble dry. This cardigan features a button front. It is a relaxed fit and then it has rib stitching. I think what I was really responding to when I showed the other one was not so much the style, but the color. I personally love vibrant color, and I think I just wasn't feeling the beige, and that's what gave me the grandpa feel. It is a very pretty pink. It's kind of that variegated yarn. It has cream, coral, and then fuchsia. Here's what it looks like in the back. I think the silhouette is nice. Several of you that left comments that you liked the sweater when I shared it with you previously suggested that I try it with a white button down top. Now, I don't wear layered tops very often. For one thing, I have frequent hot flashes, but I also don't necessarily like the bulk and bumpiness that two sleeves make. Years ago, my sister-in-law, Nancy, bought this for me at New York and Company. I have probably had this for about 10 or 15 years. Nancy is not particularly interested in fashion, 
but wow, did she knock it out of the park with this particular choice. I like the fact that this does not add bulk underneath of that sweater. Unfortunately, this exact one is no longer available. Like I said, I've had this for 10 or 15 years and I actually need to replace it. It's starting to get a little bit dingy because I've worn it to death. I'm going to see if I can find something similar, something that is a white button down with a collar that is sleeveless. And if I can find one, I will link it in the description box below. This next piece is by the brand Scoop. And when I took this out of the package and touched this fabric, my first thought was, wait, this came from Walmart? This may not look like anything special, but I cannot describe how luxe this feels. Well, actually, I'm going to try to describe it. This feels like a high-end piece to me. They're calling this the Cinched Waist Pullover Top. It is $30. It is rated five stars on the Walmart website, and I totally get that rating. It comes in sizes extra small through XXXL, and it is also available in an off-white. I was really tempted to order the off-white, but I went with the black because I know this is just a classic. The fabric is 50% polyester, 43% rayon and 7% spandex. It has super easy care instructions, machine wash cold and tumble dry. This features an oversized funnel neck with draw cord. It's easy pullover styling and it has a cinched waist with a self tie. Now I know that $30 for a piece from Walmart sounds high, but I have to tell you that the fabric on this particular piece and the matching legging, which I'll show you in just a moment, feels like it would cost a lot more. It just doesn't feel like it would come from Walmart, to be honest. The fabric has an unbelievably soft, plush, cushiony feel to it. I love that it is jet black. This top has a fun, oversized funnel neckline. I'm very partial to this because it kind of hides my neck wrinkles, not going to lie. Even the pulls at the waist and the neck feel elevated. So it's a grow grain and then it has silver tips. If you want to cinch in the waist, you just pull the grow grain cord. On me at 5'4", if I cinched it in at the waist, it did not cover the derriere quite enough to wear leggings. However, if I loosen the waist, I can easily wear this with leggings. It's just plain on the back. It does not have pockets. I wish it did, but other than that, I think this is a real winner. I want to show you the matching leggings. They're calling these the Hidden Zip Leggings. They are $26. They also come in the same size range, extra small through XXXL. The fabric is the same, easy care, machine wash, and tumble dry. These are a high rise. The inseam is 28 inches. It is a fitted silhouette with a pull-on elastic waist, and then it has hidden zip closures at the hem. I have to tell you they are extremely well hidden because it took me a hot minute to find them. I also want to point out, and it doesn't say it in the description online, that these have a center crease that's sewn in. I personally like this treatment. I find that it makes it look a little bit more elevated, especially for loungewear, and it's also slimming. This is that same cushiony, cozy fabric as the top I just shared with you true jet black. Whether you want a pair of leggings and don't even get that top or vice versa, both of these have such a comfortable feel to them. I do have to point out that at 5'4", the inseam on me was a little long. Now there are zippers at the ankle, but I have to tell you that I was able to roll these up and under for the try-ons. So if you are shorter than me, that's definitely an option. If you are taller, these are going to fit you at the ankle where they're supposed to in the first place. I'm also a fan of this wide waistband. It gives a a nice smooth front. I found that it really held the tummy area in without being restrictive. Love these so much. In case you're wondering about the pieces that I'm wearing, I didn't originally plan to show this necklace in this video, but I noticed that it went on clearance. This is by the brand Scoop, so it is an online purchase. They're calling this the 14 karat gold flash plated cubic zirconia and link chain toggle necklace. That's a mouthful. When I bought this, it was 20 and that is a little bit high for a piece of Walmart jewelry. But I have to tell you that this is extremely well made. And the best part is it is currently on clearance for $10. 
I love the asymmetric look with the chain link and the cubic zirconia. And my favorite part is that you can take it on and off with the toggle on the front. So you don't even have to mess with the lobster claw clasp on the back, which I have a hard time with. This hit at just the right place. This feels like a substantial, well-made piece. I cannot believe that you can get it for $10. I paid 20 for it, and honestly, I think it's worth 20, I really do. Speaking of sparkling jewelry, one of my subscribers and someone that I consider a friend, Paula, and Paula, if you're watching, hi, Paula, recommended this jewelry cleaner from Walmart to me. I have to admit that my wedding ring was looking pretty crusty at the time, and it made me wonder if she noticed that in some of my videos. I went right to Walmart and picked this up for $5.88. You want to get the green one, and Paula told me this too. On the container, it says that it cleans diamonds and gold, expertly cleans fine jewelry, and is perfect for bridal jewelry, which is exactly what I wanted it for. It says that it cleans engagement rings, cubic zirconia, diamonds, moissanite, I hope I pronounced that right, rubies, sapphire, gold, and platinum. I found this jewelry cleaner to be super easy to use. You just drop the pieces in. It only has to soak for two minutes. I set a timer because I was multitasking at the time and didn't want to forget about it. After the two minutes, you just take the piece out and there's a little basket that lifts up so you can easily remove it without touching the solution. And then you're going to run the piece underwater. I ran it under my kitchen sink for just about 30 seconds or so. Then you want to blot it dry. I just took a microphone fiber piece of fabric that I had and blotted it dry and then it says to polish it with a cleaning cloth. I have them just laying around so I found one in a drawer, polished it up. My particular ring has all kinds of nooks and crannies that reminds me of Thomas's English muffins. There are lots of places that debris and crud can gather. I am so glad that Paula recommended this jewelry cleaner because I kept staring at my ring after I cleaned it. It was dazzling. I highly recommend this and it is so inexpensive. Thank you again, Paula, for recommending this. The top that I'm wearing really speaks to my inner hippie chick. I love this one. This is from an upcoming Venus video. I'll go over all the details on this piece and some other gorgeous pieces in that video. This next piece is also by the brand Scoop. They're calling this the long sleeve ruffle blouse. The one that I'm sharing with you is kind of an animal print, but there are other options if this isn't your thing. It is $34. It is rated 4.5 stars on the Walmart website. I totally get that high rating. This is available in six patterns and colors. It comes in prints and solids, and several of the colors and patterns are on clearance for 10 so I picked it up in the black, which I'll show you in just a second. The fabric is 98% polyester and 2% spandex. I really like that combination because the spandex gives it just a little bit of stretch. It is also very easy care, machine wash and tumble dry. This features an easy pullover style, a self-tie front, it has ruffle trim and elastic at the waist and the cuff. I find the elastic to be comfortable. I just love the pattern on this. I think this will look nice with black jeans, but going into spring, I could even see this with white jeans. I love this ruffle detail. You can wear it tied or not. I like how it has this V neckline, which is very flattering. It just shows the collarbone without showing too much. Here's what it looks like on the back. Here's the same top in a solid black, just such a classic. I think this will look especially pretty with some sparkly jewelry like the necklace that I have on. These tops have a gauzy feel to them. They are super lightweight and are going to be perfect for spring. Another piece that just went on clearance online is this sweatshirt by Scoop. It is the fleece knit sweatshirt. It was originally $26. I want to say it's on clearance for something like $12 or $15. It is rated 4.3 stars on the Walmart website. It comes in sizes extra small through XXXL, and it is available in four colors and patterns. The fabric is 64% rayon, 33% polyester, and 3% spandex. Easy care 
wear instructions machine wash and tumble dry. I shared this with you in a previous video, but I picked it up in a size small and I really felt like it was too small. Now that I've tried both sizes on, I personally feel more comfortable in the medium. I feel like it's a better fit. I don't feel like it's riding up as much. I just love the sleeves on this. I would like to know which you think looks better, the small or the medium. The small is the one closest to me in the footage that you're no doubt watching off to the sides. So let me know, should I keep the medium that I just got or go with the small that I started with? <laughs> This next piece has nothing to do with the price of tea in China, as my mother used to say. It is not from Walmart, full disclosure. This is from JCPenney. I'm showing it to you for a couple of reasons. I wanted to do a JCPenney haul and try on, and I only found this one piece that I really loved, but when I watched the footage back, I wasn't sure about it, so I mainly want to get your opinion on it, but I also might as well show it to you while we're talking about it. This is by the brand Ryegrass. I've noticed that I am drawn to a lot of the styles in JCPenney that are by this brand. They're calling this the V-neck long sleeve peplum top, and it is on clearance for $17.99, which is another reason that I wanted to include it in this video. This comes in sizes extra small through XXL. The fabric says that it is 100% polyester crepe. The care is super easy, machine wash, tumble dry. What I love about it is this fun, perfume bottle print. I don't often find prints that I really like. I'm not a big floral person in general. I am always drawn to a classic black and white, so this kind of ticked that box. And then when I looked at it closer, I realized that it was perfume bottles. So I think it's something that's a little bit unique. This top has a flattering V neckline. It does have a modesty snap. I'm really glad when that's built in so that I don't have to guesstimate where it needs to go. It has this pretty puff sleeve and then a smocked waist which really nips in the waist and gives kind of an hourglass look. It also has a button detail on the sleeve which gives it a nice finished look. Here's my question to you about this top. I don't have a lot going on in this area and when I was watching the footage back I felt like it made my chest possibly look billowy which is impossible because I don't have enough to billow. Was this laying strangely on me? Now, I feel like if you had a fuller bust, this would be so flattering and would lay nicely. Maybe I just don't have enough of a chest to fill it out. That's probably the case. The price is so good, though, that I am considering keeping this. I would love to know what you think of this on me in the comments down below. <laughs> I have to hold it way back here to be able to read it. It says that it is a fine jewelry cleaner, that it cleans diamonds and gold. Apparently I need to hold it further. Expertly clean. Got some of my big crazy hair in my mouth. Oh, that was ladylike. Gotta take my socks off, I'm having a hot flash. Oh Lord. Whew. Anybody else out there feel me? These hot flashes are a bear. <laughs> If I get any hotter, I'm going to have to take, well, never mind. <laughs> I got to get back to this video. Here's my comment about this top on me. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, how should I put this? I don't have a whole lot going on in this area. And when I looked at the footage, I felt like my boobs looked a little bulbous, <laughs> which is impossible because I don't have bulbous boobs. I better redo this. <laughs> Hey, before you go, if you have stayed until the end of this video, I want to do a surprise giveaway that only you know about. In order to be eligible, you must be over the age of 18, you must have a shipping address in the continental U.S., and of course you must be a subscriber. If you meet that criteria, drop a comment in the comment section that says enter me. I don't know why I'm whispering. I think it's because it's a secret because only those of you that stayed until this point of the video know about it. I am not trying to become a giveaway channel by any stretch of the imagination. I really focus on fashion, but I have so many pieces of jewelry, skincare, makeup, and beauty items that I wanna send out a mystery box to one of you. All you have to do if you meet the criteria is leave a comment, enter me. 
I will be announcing the winner of this giveaway at the very end of my next Walmart video. So be sure and watch for that and good luck to each and every one of you that enter.